Thank you for listening to Depictions Media Radio. You know, I'm grateful to to meet so many different people doing doing this. Becoming a, a a radio personality and a podcaster, um, and talking about human rights and mindset has helped me find a lot of different people to talk to. A lot of people who share similar mindsets, and. I got this message in a book that was sent to me in gratitude um, from one of the doctors that I interviewed. And it reads like this. It is such a great pleasure to be your, your guest on Depictions of Media Radio. Thank you with gratitude and the warmest regards. Brigitte Tan is not only a positivity and life coach who wrote a book that um, has the proven five-finger method to thrive through change effortlessly. She's a beautiful person. She is also an oncologist who helps people through the toughest times of their lives. Get through it, and get through it with gratitude. So let's listen to why she's grateful for who she is, Bridget Tan. And welcome back, everyone. We're here today with um, Brigitte uh, Tan, and she's another one of our wonderful coaches in our gratitude series. So, um, Brigitte is 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 a I, I would say she's a best-selling author, a wonderful person, and has a great outlook on life, and helps people find. The joy, the happiness uh, that is supposed to be in life. You know, it. With that being said, it doesn't mean that things aren't going to happen. It just means how we view things, and she has uh, can help you with that. So that you view things in the way that it doesn't take away that inner happiness. Welcome to the show. So. Thank you. Thank you very much, Michael. It's such an honor and a great delight to be able to be here with you. Yeah. So, so I'm going to start off with, with a really hard question. What does gratitude mean to you? That's a wonderful question. So everybody has uh, different de- uh, definitions for that. And my definitions of um, gratitude or being grateful is um, simply being able to appreciate what is still good. That's um, uh, being able to appreciate what is still good and what's, uh, and actually also um, being able to appreciate uh, what's possible, the possible good. Yeah. So, I'm going to tell everybody what is on your wall behind you. Um, and I think it, it really sums up how you, how, after you said that, it's, I believe it's, it sums up how you see gratitude. And there's a saying there, it says, if you believe in yourself, anything is possible. So, yes. what, okay, is that an original or did you find uh-huh. that one? No, it's actually, it's uh, it's not an original. I actually bought this thing. It's one of those things you just put on the wall. So uh-huh. somebody else is believing that to be like me, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's a great saying. 
So it, it, it's something that just reached out and said, you need to go home with me now. Right, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, um, we, we, in a previous interview, we, we talked about... Um, joy and and happiness and um how we can can keep that in our heart no matter what happens to us and does that work work the same way um with with gratitude yes absolutely it works the same way you know at the end of the day everything is a choice we choose um to be happy we choose to be grateful. Um, we can, we, it's just as much as we can choose to be uh, grumpy and to be bitter. Um, so at, at the end of the day, everything to me is a choice. And, and the truth is, everything really is a choice. Um, it's funny that we talk about gratitude right now. Um, I have an experience just yesterday, actually. Uh, I, I, I was helping out at the hospital. And one after another thing, I ended up at the hospital four hours later than, I, I was still working four hours late, later than when I'm supposed to complete my work. Mm. And there was a part of me that just, um, I, I look at the clock and I was like, oh, it's, it's 8.30 in the evening. And the there was a part of me that just wanted to say, God, I just hate this. I hate my life. I just, this, this is disgusting. And and the other part of me choose to say, well, okay, I'm still here, but at the same time, there are many people with hard work out there, and I am here working in a business that's flourishing. And so I'm very grateful for that. And I am, uh, yes, I was there very late, <laughs> way later than I, I, uh, I thought I would be. But also, the la- um, I got to learn how much my client truly, truly loved me. Because the last three clients whom I spoke with, they all noticed the time of the day. And they said, oh my God, you're still at the office. You know, you must be exhausted. It must be a really long day for you. You know, I still have questions, but these are non-urgent questions that have weight. So, I'm just going to let you go. We'll wait until next week for me to ask these questions. You go home and you rest. And just to hear that and to notice that one of the team members that w- who, who was sleeping, he was sleeping as I was still there, he actually, you know, the same thing, he was very concerned. He's like, are you going to be okay? I'm, I'm happy to stay late. I'm like, thank you. And, and to be able to feel the love from these, these people, these wonderful people, that was something that I was so very grateful for, among many, many other things as well. And so gratitude is a choice. Because I could be, I could stay being bitter. I could say, I hate this. I could, I, I just, I despise being ever having to do this. Um, and so forth. And this is something that happened once in a blue moon, not every day, but from time, uh, from time to time it happened. Or I could choose to say, well, you know what? I'm grateful for everything that is still good. I'm grateful that I have a job um, and I have, oh, I have good work and that I, that I am able to do the work and I have people, uh, I'm working with people whom I love working with um, and, and so forth. And actually when I did that, I did that when we are we moved to gratitude, one of the benefits of gratitude is is it allow us to release the dopamine, which is the feel-good hormone. Mm. And one of the benefits from being able to have the dopamine is we are able to relax. And when we're able to relax, we're able to think better and focus better. And with me, there was a couple other um, things that I I was going to take care yesterday. And once I relaxed and think better, I actually was able to see a different way to take care of this that saved me, not a huge amount of time, but it still saved me a little bit of time that allowed me to get out there faster. And so, and the same thing if we were to have challenge and problems, so to say, if we are able to relax, we think better, we focus more, 
same thing. We will be able to um, see typically more ways to address our problem and solve our problem. So, so gratitude is a choice that's definitely, and that's just one of the many, many benefits of gratitude. So. You know, you, you said something that I, I guess I knew, but I never, but you, you know how you know something, but you never realize it? Um, that the fluid um, uh, hormone, dopamine, that being, um, being released, I, I hadn't, th- I had just hadn't thought of that, that if the, that if you stay in a state of gratitude, that you, it's easier to release the feel-good hormones and chemicals into our body and into our brains. Wow. Yes, absolutely. Um, it, it is, it is, that's why, um, you know, um, it's, it releases the feel-good hormone, um, a lot of, um, Places now recommend that people, for people who experience depression, who experience anxiety, um, to uh, you know, it, it actually even help with us if we are feeling physical pain. Uh, the, the dopamine will help us to be able to tolerate that pain better because it's actually help us feel a little bit less pain, and therefore you can get your pain, um, whether it's emotional or physical, actually, to be able to um, to get uh, to tolerate it better until you got it taken care, it helps reduce um, lower our heart rate, so we feel cal- calmer, mm-hmm. and also our blood pressure, so we don't know yet, we, we stay healthy and don't get ourselves into a heart attack or a stroke or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the, 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 that that added stress of, of of getting all worked up and in um, adrenaline is a good thing um, sometimes, but um, but constantly because you're feeling down or um, or just like oh I hate this I hate this it is it it puts too many of those. Other chemicals into your into your blood that it that actually ca- can c- help cause that heart attack or bad health, right? So yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. So gratitude gives us better health. <laughs> it is, it is, and nowadays, you know, with with everything going on in the world, a lot of um, many times we are aware, um, you know, many people are aware about the emotional. Um, emotional, psychological, so to say, well be a uh, benefit of gratitude. But it's actually um, uh, been shown, studies show this, that um, gratitude also has an actual physical benefit. So it's not just emotional, um, but also um, physiological benefit. Um, in in uh, my book, Seeking Peace, you mentioned I'm an author in the book, Seeking Peace, I discussed this a little further, but basically what it does is it's, um, uh, it allows us to reduce inflammation in our body. It allows us to reduce inflammation in our body through multiple mm-hmm. different processes, and then it also stimulates our hypothalamus, and our hypothalamus is the part of our um, brain that controls our sleep, and appetite, and so if we can reduce inflammation, we can eat healthier in a more regulated way, and we can sleep better. Naturally, we will be physically in a better state, which is very important um, for us at all time. And when it is, uh, there is a lot going on in, in life and in the world, and so it's really something that uh, beneficial physiologically, in addition to psychologically. Wow. It, it 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 sounds like you've done a whole big study on this. <laughs> I I did a bit of a research um, when I wrote uh, when I wrote my book. I I, mm-hmm. I I'm, I'm a scientist by nature, my background. I'm being a doctor, so I did a, a bit of a research on different things. Um, you know, I, I I wasn't the one conducting the experiment, but I did find quite a few um wonderful resources that uh. Uh, tell us all the different wonderful benefits um, of gratitude that I wasn't I wasn't before that I wasn't aware about. So. Yeah, well, um, it, you, it, I 
I too uh, am, am a bit of a, a, a scientist myself, so I I did notice um, on the scientific and if you look look at things um, through the through the right lens, that you see that there is a big connection between spirit and when when you talk about spirit, you're talking about it also emotions like gratitude and and um, and joy and happy and and things like that. That there's a big connection between your body and the spirit. And when you fill your spirit for with all these good emotions, that your body becomes healthier and y- you seem brighter to people, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, your body becomes healthier, and then you are, you know, when you are in a better mood, because if you are, it's, it's, you know, you can try this. You can try expressing gratitude, um, and then be in a really bad mood. It usually doesn't go like that, right? No. And so naturally, when you express gratitude, um, it will improve your mood, and it's um, naturally um, anybody who are in better mood, um, one more pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> if we are not pleasant, um, then we uh, people tend to like us better. Um, you know, people usually like people who are more pleasant, not g- uh, grumpy grins, right? So, yeah. and, and and actually, it's it work in a way that you know. Imagine that. I mean, if we are more pleasant, people like us better. People tend to want to help us and cooperate with us if we're working with people. And naturally, it'll bring us in the long run, you know, bring more opportunities and, and, and um, in a good way. It's because we are simply just a more pleasant person to be around with. Yeah. The, the, all the, all the, it's, yeah it, it, it's a wonderful chain reaction of things to have happen, right? <laughs> so... Um, in, uh, I know a, a lot of lot of the uh, of the of this stuff is, is also in your book. So yes, yes, I did um, put in the whole um, sections in there about gratitude, just because um, the book is about um, uh, about how to try to change effortlessly and. With gratitude, with all the benefit that we just share, I mean, it's definitely allow us to be able to move. Even as we are going through pain, it will allow us to be able to tolerate the pain and kind of pick ourselves um, in a, put ourselves in a better spot. Even as we are going through that, um, in, instead, um, I learned gratitude um, actually through. Um, to uh, one person who practiced it before gratitude was become a uh, well uh, well studied, and he it helped him um, recover in a, in a most amazing way uh, from his cancer. And being an oncologist, uh, my background is I'm a, a, an oncologist. Being an oncologist, I actually noticed that a lot of people who come in and regardless of what's going on in their life, they um, they just automatically, they said, oh, okay, well, you know, but at least this thing is still good. I'm grateful this thing is still good. Oh, okay, well, you know, I, I sure, you know, nobody wants to hear this, and, but, you know, at least I'm thankful for this. Every single client who does that, they seem to tolerate, uh, they seem to be able to move through the treatment and the journey with cancer better. Yeah. You know, that that, that does make sense. Um, because I, I'm... Um, I'm not a cancer doctor. Uh, that, that, would be, that would be you. Um, but I am... A volunteer um, with uh, with hospice care, and I volunteer my time helping promote our local hospice. And um, when people are more grateful, it does seem that things go a little a little bit easier for them. And um, leading back to the more pleasant. 
parts when when people have spent th- their lives filled with, with gratitude and joy that you should see it's wonderful to see all the people that gather as they come to the end right also so and they have a peaceful time so yes all these things bring bring us more peace Exactly. It's bring us more, more peace and more ease in our life and more peace, more ease and more natural day to day, um, on natural day to day basis mm-hmm. enjoy as well. Yeah. So I I I don't know, I, I just find it easier to um to try to look at the brighter side than than to stay stuck in the because uh, one, I I have had that that bad part where I stayed stuck in it, and um, wait, how to put this? Uh, literally, I think I I wanted to pick up something and and hurt myself in a very bad way. So because ever, I was just stuck in that, right? But, yeah. So, um. And you know, it takes a lot of times we forgot about this. It takes the same amount of energy. It takes exactly the same amount of energy to, like you say, think about something positive Mm -hmm. um, as much as thinking about things that make us feel stuck. So, uh, and and at the same time, thinking about something positive, thinking about possibilities will make us feel better. So... Um, back to the choice, I choose to feel better. <laughs> just to think, you know, just like you, sounds like Michael, uh, just to think something positive that allows us to feel better. And, and who knows, it might actually get us into a better state, in a better place. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And th- that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it be, it be, it be, it being a better state and, and everything and seeing seeing things the uh, in a positive light isn't that the most of the makings of success yes yes so um, I asked that question because uh, do you, you are a very uh, successful doctor you're very successful in your coaching practice and um, you sold lots of copies of your book too <laughs> so yes yes Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, and it is it's definitely, I um, mean, uh, there is the, nobody, a lot of time with success, we see people after they are successful, right? We see, um, we see people after they, they, they have their names out there. We, we know about, um, you know, the, uh, Edison, for instance, Thomas Edison's, um, that know about electricity and, and so forth. Well, excuse me. Um, being, uh, talking about being positive, um, not everybody knows that Thomas Edison experienced 10,000 years. So, you know, people would ask him, um, uh, how could you survive 10,000 failures? And uh, Edison said, failures? I don't have failures. I see them as feedback. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and he keeps going and stay positive. And we know um, even people like Walt Disney and um, um, oh, nowadays people, uh, Oprah, you know, Oprah's being turned down from this and having been fired from different studios and so forth. So um, we can choose to stay positive and, um, and uh, be grateful for what we have and take one little step at a time. Yeah. Um. I, I I remember um, that a, 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 an interview with with um, with one of my favorite rock bands, and I wasn't the person doing the interview; but somebody else was. And they said, "Oh, um, you just become an overnight success." And anybody who had been following the the band themselves, yeah. They, they were a 10-year overnight success. It took them 10 years to get to the point where they found the overnight success. So there's a lot of work, a lot of, we can do this, we can do this, behind yeah. all of a sudden appearing to be a success to people. So, 
So, yeah, ikan kami nanti, and everybody now, um, you know, most people are being on an airplane right now, and you, you uh, might have this, you know, the rice brother, there is so many oppositions for them, and they fail so many times, and, you know, it's just between the two of them, keep saying to each other, one that, you know, discouraged, they say, you know, we can do this, brother, we can do this, and <laughs> like you say, we can do this, and it takes many, many years, just like with Edison, and eventually it becomes a success, and then everybody's like, oh, look at that, look at that, oh, he could, he, he invented electricity, he invented, it's like, um, what's behind that, like you say, 10 years, 20 years of work, and so, um, and so we, we want to stay, um, uh, you know, positive, and not get get courage and um, take one, one little step at a time yeah and it takes a, a lot of, of belief in, in ourselves to, to keep going like that so exactly and then when you do everything is possible <laughs> <laughs> it, it, that is such a great saying um, so it, you, you know um we we talk about uh, teaching our teach, teaching our kids discipline and teaching um, and teaching teaching people as they're learning things to to stay disciplined and I think sometimes people miss um, what it means to to actually stay disciplined in the fact that as a teacher you're not you're not trying to to punish them for doing something wrong, you're trying to teach them to keep going because they can do whatever they think that they th that they can do. They have the possibility of doing anything they want, and that's what you're trying to teach them. So, I th th I, th I think that's what yeah, I'm saying in the walk. So, yeah. Um. We, um, uh, we, sorry, um, I was about to say a uh, positive, back right to what you say, positive reinforcements, um, whether it is to our kid actually, or even to ourselves, tend to work a little bit better than <laughs> negative reinforcement has its place from time to time, you know, if you don't want to be late to your bed and make your boss mad or something, an important meeting, but day to day, positive reinforcement, um, being part uh, in in general always work much uh, you know uh, it's a it's a lot more sustainable and work better and feel better anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it, it a much better way of, of going about it. Um, it's 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 uh, better to say, isn't it better to say that um, yes I can than um, no I can't. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so we can give ourselves that positive reinforcement. Is is there any th anything in particular that you do for yourself to keep giving yourself that positive reinforcement? Um, well, back to disciplines, I actually ha uh, disciplined myself <laughs> to uh, do um, uh, gratitude practice. I do gratitude three times a day. Uh, and so naturally when I do the gratitude practice, I give myself a positive reinforcement on what's still good out there. Uh, and I also am learning to, um, to practice celebrating, celebrating what is great, celebrating the sprouts, so to say. Uh, a lot of time, you know, we, let's say you want to plant an olive tree or something like that, you, plant, you want to plant a tree, and many times, um, when we are actually planting trees, interestingly, you know, you see a sprout on the ground, you say, yay, there is a sprout. But with us, when we're going to day-to-day -day basis, um, when we are um, working uh, for a goal that we have in our life, 
half the time we don't celebrate the sprout and we actually say, oh, I haven't done much. You know, my goal is this much and I'll probably done this much. So um, another thing that I, I practice, I learned to practice, which is also we share in that book, um, is to celebrate, to celebrate the little things that um, that is still good and to celebrate every little accomplishment. If, if, uh, if you, um, if let's say somebody's not feeling good and they've been hiding under the cover for three days and today we're able to get out from under the cover, um, then yeah, that's uh, something to celebrate about. And if you have, uh, you know, you want to, uh, to climb Mount Everest and you make it the first 10 miles, that's something to celebrate about. So I learned to celebrate um, in addition to be grateful and, and it's definitely a choice a choice for um, anyone to choose to do that but mm-hmm. for myself to choose to do that um, after seeing the benefit of doing uh, this this um, gratitude and the, uh, celebrations and, and when you do that you know it's almost like it's natural that you will um, have a continuous positive reinforcement moment to moment multiple times a day and every every week so yeah to continue the positive reinforcements and celebrate the 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 sprouts <laughs> i like that yeah yeah um cuz i think sometimes we we we, do, we we are just so stuck in Oh, it's such it, it's such a long road to go, but but we forget to 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 celebrate the fact that we took the first step, and then the second and the third. Yes. So. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Anybody who has kid, you know, anybody who has um, who has uh, children, you don't expect the kid. From being a baby and 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 was born to become a marathon runner right away, do you? <laughs> so we usually are a lot more parents. So, um, I don't have children myself, but I know people with uh, with children. You know, they they have um they, the the babies. You know, first crawling, then the babies start crawling. They're like, oh my god, you know, the baby's crawling now, and then the baby stand up, and before he he or she was even able to walk. And then they celebrate that, and then the baby start walking and step by step, and 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 notice everybody learned to walk by falling practically, right? I mean, we look at baby, they got up and they clumsy, they took two steps, and then they fall, and they still celebrate them. The parents, more parents don't usually say, "Well, look at here, you know, you got up, you walk, and you fall down. Shame on you! You should never fall again." That doesn't happen with babies. And the Sometimes we tend, as adults, we tend to do that to ourselves. We try to do something, and then it doesn't work out the way we would love it to be. And we're like, that, that's it. I'm done. I, I failed. Not meant to do it. Or I'm discouraged. And so we just want to, to treat ourselves. Um, you know, I invite the, the listeners to just treat ourselves uh, um, the, the way we would love to treat our precious babies. Hmm. That is a really good idea. I, 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 I like it. We, we should. We should do that. Thank you. So, um, you, you, and we do, do a, a lot of times, like, oh, well, um, I'll just give up now. I, it, that didn't work out the first time around. I'm not, I'm not going back to, to that. You know. Um, I think I think about some of the the uh, the great and, and most graceful graceful dancers I've seen, and again, it's like you see them on stage do something really awesome, but no one ever looks behind the see pulls the curtain back and sees, oh wow, you did all that to get to this point, and how many times they fell, they stumbled. In order to be able to entertain us in a in a great way uh, on the stage, so you know, yeah, we yeah. We, we need to be. Uh, would you say we need to be kinder to ourselves? Definitely, we definitely can be a lot. Ki- most people can definitely be a lot kinder 
um, uh, to ourselves that much, much kind of to ourselves. Mm, yeah. So, if you were to wake up tomorrow and tomorrow held the, the perfect world just for you, what would it look like? That's a wonderful question. Nobody ever asked me that. So if I were to wake up tomorrow and I, uh, it's a perfect world just for me, mm -hmm. um, what would it look like? I would say it looked like that I, I am able to do all I am I'm meant to do that day and I serve the, the best way possible and everything happened um, with a lot of ease and a lot of grace and a lot of fun um, that I'm able to serve um, in the best way possible with lots of ease, grace and fun. Wow. Okay. Wait, we're coming to the end end of our half hour. It's These things just fly past for it. When, when, when you're having so much fun with, with great people. Um, any last thoughts for, for our listeners? Um, any last thoughts? Um, mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. So my, um, my last, uh, last uh, my message would be uh, back to um, gratitude. Um, being grateful and staying positive is a choice. And so it is up to you if you're going to choose to be grateful for what's still good now, even if in the in the midst of adversity, and allow yourself to be able to have things come into your life with more ease now that you are focusing on the positive. Cool. So, um because there, there, a lot of people are going to be listening here in Canada as well as in, in the U.S. And not all of them are going to be um, based in Los Angeles where you live, right? I am in Los Angeles. Yeah. Um, so, um, why don't you tell everybody the name of your book again and the best places to go buy it. Uh, thank you, of course. Uh, the name of the book is Seeking Peace. The Proof and Five Fingers Method. And um, uh, you can find it in any uh, Amazon, um, Canadian Amazon, uh, US Amazon, um, if, uh, in any country, UK, it's, international, it's internationally available. Uh, um, you can also find the book on its own website, seekingpeacebook.com. And I do want to mention that in, uh, in full disclosures that 100% of the book profit is actually donated to the International Childhood Cancer Charity, uh, um, an organization, a foundation that we form to help empower in addition to emotionally and physically heal impoverished children with cancer. So they too can experience the good in life and bring their life into our society and planet. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. It's, it, nice to be with you. it's it's always great talking to you. Um so and thank you everybody for listening and um I hope that you, you learned something more about gratitude and how gratitude can actually help make you a way healthier person. And this is coming from um, an expert on health and make in helping people get uh, healthier with Brigitte. So um, thank you again for listening and we'll talk to everybody later.
This show has been produced by Depictions Media. Please contact us at depictions.media for more information.